We just knocked it out the park. You can now compress PDFs. Version 3.2 that you can go and get from the video link, go and copy and paste the code into your code snippets plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository now gives you PDF compression. So if you've got PDFs that are like 20 megabytes or even seven megabytes or hundred megabytes, it will now compress them. And what's really good is that you can even go and set the level or quality. So you can select screen quality, which is low. So are you only ever gonna view the PDF on the screen? Maybe it's part of a course, maybe it's ebook quality, or maybe you wanna have high quality. And even at high quality, it will compress. Now I do wanna mention though, even if you've got multiple PDFs, you only wanna do this one at a time. What you wanna do is go in, select your quality, go and hit select PDFs, and then go and click run compression. And you'll get a message over here to say compressing, but what you really wanna be doing is scroll up and when it has finally compressed, you will get a notification of the size changes. Please bear in mind that if you do have a really large file, like 100 megabytes, it could take somewhere between 40 to 60 seconds to do that. So just hit the button, it will say compressing, don't click anything else. Just go up here and you will then see the message appear to say it has now compressed. But before I show you what the final sizes are and how the file looks, you will get a message over here to say PDF compression allowed. Now your host provider server needs to have ghost script installed. Now that is something that host providers will already have done in the back end. You don't need to worry about that. But if you are using a host provider that does not have ghost script, it's a bit like AVIF and WebP. If your host provider has not got GD or Imagic libraries, you can't convert your images on the fly. You're gonna have to go and use something else. So ghost script does need to be there and 99% of host providers will have this. If you have not got that, it will actually have a message here and you'll have a yellow bar at the top that will say ghost script is not installed. You can't do PDF compression. So you won't be able to do that. This does not affect anything else you've got running in PixRefiner version 3.2. And the last thing I wanna mention is that none of the PDFs that you upload to your media library will compress. They will just load through into your media library as you loaded them. And it's not until you compress them that they will compress. And the original will not remain in your media library, okay? You will lose that. So if you are gonna be doing many PDFs, load them through, compress them one at a time, check you're okay with them, and you don't have to worry about deleting the old ones because they will already be gone. And if you're not happy, just upload it again. So let's go over to our media library. I'm going to open up this particular file. It's currently two megabytes. Now, if I just show you it, this is the how to start a business uh, ebook that you can get for free. Go and click the link in our video description. It will take you to the page where you get the code and you'll see this in the sidebar. You can get this for free. Now this has got a lot of level of detail. Originally this was 7.2 megabyte and I compress this to be low quality. And you'll notice here that some of the images, they've slightly gone a little bit grainy. So if you go for low quality, just bear that in mind. That being said, you can see here, it's still legible, it's still readable and a lot of the graphics are still okay. But you can see a little bit of blurriness there. So when I was using the low quality, this went from just over seven megabytes to just over two megabyte. And the reason it's only lost five megabyte is because of the amount of detail there was inside of there. But what if I show you this 100 megabyte PDF file? Now this is just a sample file. It's actually 102 megabyte and it's just a repeat of this page. And if you look at it, you've got some gradients going on over here and a title and a bit of an image. I went and compressed this three times using the high, the medium, and the low quality. The gradient and the text is fine, but the image here, which is obviously a bit of clip art on the page, you can see a bit of graininess and noise. So just bear in mind that when you go to the extreme low quality, it will massively shrink your size, but you may get a little bit of noise. But what about the medium and the high? This is the medium and you can see the image has less noise and this is the high quality and it's a whole lot more clearer. Now let me show you the sizes. So the original was 102 megabytes. The low version is 535 kilobytes. The medium, and you may be surprised by this, was 646. Not a huge amount of difference there, but the quality was better. And what about the high quality? That is now two megabyte. And even then we've gone from 102 megabyte to two megabyte. 
I would probably say go for the medium quality because I think that's pretty damn reasonable. And if you haven't got any clip art on like your file and it's mainly text, and you can get away with some clip art as long as they're not too detailed or, you know, refined in what they're showing, you could even go for the low quality. So this is all now available in version 3.2. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And if you don't like the Pix Refiner, if you don't like what it's doing or you have something against it, go elsewhere. I'll see you soon.